So, you finally reached that place. The place where you cross the line. How wonderful. All Inquisitors cross the line eventually. All of them. It's an occupational hazard. The line, Gregor. The line. The line between order and chaos. Between right and wrong. Between mankind and man unkind. I know it because I've crossed it. Willingly, of course. Gladly. Skipping and dancing and delighting. For the likes of you, it is a more painful process. But don't forget my learning and upbringing, Eisenhorn. You'll be amazed how easy it is for a well-raised and schooled son of the Imperium to slide across that line. He seemed like a man who has understood the wider significance of the war. Because the war is in everything. It is there even in the most ordered things you do. Everyone is damned. Mankind is damned. A whole human species. Chaos and death are the only real truths of reality. To believe otherwise is ignorance. And the Inquisition, so proud and dutiful and full of its own importance, so certain that it is fighting against chaos, is the most ignorant thing of all. Your daily work brings you closer and closer to the warp, increases your understanding of orderless powers. Gradually, without noticing it, even the most puritanical and rod-stiff Inquisitor becomes seduced. The first step is the knowledge. An Inquisitor must understand the basic traits of chaos in order to fight it. In a few years, he knows more about the war than most untutored cultists. Then, the second step, the moment he breaks the rules and allows some aspect of chaos to survive or remain so that he can study it and learn from it. I wouldn't even bother trying to deny that one, Eisenhorn. I'm right here, aren't I? The third step is the line itself. When the Inquisitor becomes a radical, when he chooses to use chaos against chaos, when he employs the agencies of the war, when he asks the heretical for help. So, are you going to ask me to help you? You are an Inquisitor, Eisenhorn. Make your case. Why would I help you cross the line? Engulfing eternity, the fragility of the human race, the glories of the war, the fleeting treasure of flesh, Incomparable sweetness of death. The line 